guys, it's your girl Brie and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So for today's video, as you can tell from the title, it's gonna be a taste test. So today for the first time ever, your girl's gonna be trying the Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Butterbeer and I am really excited, y'all have no idea. So I was randomly in my local little books a million, you know what I'm saying, and I stumbled upon this beautiful four pack of Butterscotch Butterbeer. And as a lover of all things Harry Potter as well as Butterbeer, I thought it would be definitely a huge insult to the Harry Potter community for me to just simply walk by and not have purchased it. So I'm really nonetheless excited y'all because I love Butterbeer so much. I've had so many different versions of it. If you haven't yet watched, I actually tried the secret menu Starbucks Butterbeer drink. I'll put the link up here in the card if you guys want to take a look at that video. And then on top of that, I've had two different versions at Universal Orlando. And y'all, I'm just so excited to try this. Y'all have no idea. But I will say, uh, the girl's a little nervous because it does say butterscotch cream soda and, uh, I don't drink soda, so I don't know how I'm gonna feel about it. Like, I can definitely tell, like, yeah, there are bubbles in this thing. I don't know if y'all can see, but she got some bubbles. And I hope that, like, oh my gosh, I don't know. I really hope that I like it, because I love butterbeer so much, and this would just be another cool thing for me to drink. I'm already really picky and selective with the things I drink, so hopefully uh, this tastes good. So this is from a brand called The Flying Cauldron. On the case here, it's 100% natural, it says. It's a butterscotch cream soda, and then on it, it says it includes four 12 ounce bottles, and it is gluten free. And then lastly, it says it is non-alcoholic. In case y'all are wondering, there's definitely a bottle missing. So my family was so eager to try this out, and I was like, yo, I wanna like, film myself drinking it because I feel like that would be 10 times more fun. And they were asking me pretty much like almost every other day if they could try it. So at one point I like caved in. I was like, you know what? Y'all take a bottle, try it, bottoms up, have fun. So unfortunately there is a bottle missing, but I still have three for myself. So your girl's all right. So there is a quick little bio here about the brand that I'll read real quick. So it says, since 1374, the Flying Cauldron has been making this magical brew for underage wizards and wizards who are young at heart at their brew pub in Hogsbreath, England. The recipe has change a little over the centuries, it has the perfect combination of spells and quality natural ingredients. It continues to be prized for its creamy vanilla and butterscotch flavor. And then it says, some wizards claim that this brew places a ward of protection on those who drink it and that consuming this product has been known to accelerate wizarding abilities in borderline wizard cases. This delicious beverage is the first wizarding drink to have widespread crossover consumption in the non-wizarding world. A magical refreshment for wizards and unrealized wizards alike. Oh my gosh. That is such a cute little bio, y'all. I'm obsessed. But all right, guys, if you're ready to see me try the Flying Cauldron Butterscotch Butterbeer, then keep on watching. All right, y'all, I'm finally about to dive in and take a drink, but I don't really know how to open this, if I'm being quite honest, because your girl don't drink alcohol, so you know what I'm saying? I don't know how to open up any kind of a beer bottle, so... Oh, wait, it says twist off. All right, no, I'm, I'm gonna try. Did you guys hear that? Oh my god, that was so loud. Okay, 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 okay. Woo! I'm so nervous and I don't know why. I don't know why I'm so nervous. Okay, calm down, Brie. Calm down. All right, so for starters, I'm gonna take a little whiff of it. This is gonna be a true taste test. So we're gonna inhale the butterbeer and see what it smells like. Yes, yes, y'all. It is definitely emanating beautiful butterscotch-like scents, and I'm here for it. But once again, I'm so nervous because I don't drink soda, and I am like 100% sure this is gonna have some form of a bubbly taste. But you know what? YOLO. Honestly, I'm, I'm just gonna do it. On a count of three, I'm just going to drink it, okay? One, two, three. Bottoms up, y'all. <laughs> okay. So it, it definitely tastes like soda, and uh, I could taste it the second it hit my tongue. And I mean, call me over dramatic, but your girl really, really dislikes the fizz in soda. Like, it's like an acidic taste that just burns my tongue. So anytime I remotely taste soda, my body just spazzes out. Like, my taste buds, they go out of control. And the aftertaste, y'all, not gonna lie, I taste the butterbeer in. She's pretty cute, but again, I cannot get past the soda taste. So for me, I wouldn't say that I liked it, but I'm not gonna discourage anybody from trying it, because if y'all like soda and y'all like butterscotch, I definitely recommend to try this, but if y'all don't like soda, it's a wrap. Don't even buy it, don't even attempt to try it, because you're not gonna like it, because that soda taste, she's pretty strong, you know what I'm saying? I feel like this is like a butterscotch experience that everybody, like every single Harry Potter fan, or if you're not even a Harry Potter fan, you should try this drink. It's definitely worth it. I mean, the four case was only about like 10 bucks. I mean, but it's definitely worth trying. I'm actually gonna try it again. I'm gonna try my best not to spit it out, but I'm gonna try again. 
Okay, yeah, I mean, like, I took a smaller sip this time, but I still taste the soda-like flavor, and I do taste, though, the butterscotch, like, those flavors, they come in through. So if you like soda, definitely recommend on trying it. If you don't, though, like I said, don't even try picking it up. But all right, guys, that's it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for watching. Please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to your girl's YouTube channel. And turn that notification bell on so you'll be notified when I upload a brand new video. Also, add your girl on Instagram at Brianna underscore Calix, as well as on Snapchat at Red and Black Princess. And while you're at it, add your girl on TikTok as well as Twitter, just so you can keep up with me on my social media handles. All right, you guys. Bye. Honestly, y'all do not do spit takes in your house because your girl has butterbeer all over her bed now. Well, you